Hey guys, Greg here, and let's solve valid palindrome. So a phrase is a palindrome if after converting all the uppercase letters into lowercase letters, and then you remove all the non-alphanumeric characters, it's a palindrome if it reads the same forwards and backwards. And they give you a simple definition. Alphanumeric means letters and numbers, okay? So it's saying that the text might have non-alphanumeric stuff like question marks and exclamation marks and whatever. So here it actually has some commas in there. And the explanation of why this is still a palindrome is because if you ignore all this stuff, so if you ignore the commas and the spaces, if you just look at the letters and the numbers, if there were any, then it's A, M, A, N, A, P, and so on forwards, and it's A, M, A, N, A, P backwards. So it's going all the way, it's the same forwards and backwards. And we're also saying that if it has uppercase letters, just convert those to lowercase letters first. So that actually is a palindrome. So we return true for race a car, well, we remove the spaces. And so it's just race a car. That is not a palindrome. There's saying it because it's funny because race car without the a race car is a palindrome but race a car is not now the best way to do this is a two-pointer approach where we have a pointer l at the left and another pointer r at the end and people are going to be annoyed when i call this two pointers because i know like they're more so indices it's just this is the index zero and this is the index n minus one where n is the length of the string and sure they're not really pointers but like variables are basically pointers so we're just going to avoid that conversation it's we're going to call this a two-pointer technique because that's what it's called. Now at every single step, we wanna make sure we're looking at a lowercase English letter. And both of them are, and so since they are both looking at one, well, are they equal to each other? If they're not equal to each other, then we could immediately return false, except they are equal to each other. Okay, what does that mean? Well, we need to keep scanning this forward. So we will move L over one, and we will move R over one towards each other. Now we do the same thing. We make sure they're looking at a lowercase English letter. This is, this sort of is, it's an uppercase English letter. We'd first kind of make a copy of this and actually just look at the character of A. And so now they're both looking at lowercase English letters. Are they equal to each other? Yes, they are. So we need to keep this moving forward. L is going to move over and R is going to move over. Now again, are they looking at lowercase English letters or a number, by the way, numbers are fine too. Uh, no, it's not here. Okay, so basically we found that L was looking at a non-alphanumeric character. And so we're actually going to just move L over and we're not gonna touch R because we just had an issue with L and so we'll just move L forward. Okay, now they're both looking at letters, but we just need to make a lowercase version of this. We say, are they the same? Yes, they are. They're the same as each other, so we will move them forward. Okay, same thing's gonna happen here with L. We find that we don't like what it's looking at, so we're only going to move L forward. Now they are both equal to each other, and it's actually at this point where we can immediately, without even checking the spot, we can immediately return true at this point. So we can immediately return true. If we've gotten this far, that means it reads the same forward as it does backwards and then there's just one other letter here now what you could do if you wanted is just to make sure that like these are still the same character like you could say like is r equal to l yes it is of course because they're the same letter well you don't really need to do that we can make the y loop condition here just while r is less than l okay we don't need to include the equals to because that's this case here we don't really care we always know that when they're equal to each other of course they're going to be the same thing and so that's not going to matter okay now this is going to yield a a big O of N solution. Okay, we're really just moving one pointer L over to the right, and we're moving another pointer R over to the left. And so that's basically just going through two times. And so we have O of N. And the space complexity of this is actually a constant solution. Okay, so time is O of N, but space is big O of one, because we're not storing anything other than these two you know, pointers or indices. Okay, so we're going to start by getting N is the length of the string. And we'll initialize our two pointers. We'll get L is going to be zero, the first position and r will be n minus one that's the last position so then we can just do as we said while l is less than r if not s at l dot is alnum if the character at l is not alphanumeric as we said we just want to move on and so we'll do l plus equals one and we'll immediately continue okay we don't want to worry about r here if l had an issue we're just going to move l over now same thing for r this is just going to be a copy paste if we don't like what r is looking at then we we are going to just move R down one, okay? So we will move them closer to each other if either of them ran into an issue. Now at this point, we know that they're both looking at alphanumeric characters. And so we're going to just check if S at L dot lower, okay, that's going to convert it to lowercase. If that is not equal to S at R dot lower, then we can immediately return false, okay? So we know they're looking at either a number or a letter. And if it's a number, lower actually works on that as well. The string of five dot lower is 
still just five. So we're checking if they are equal to each other. If they are not equal to each other, we can immediately return false because it did not read the same forwards as it did backwards. Now, if they were equal to each other, then we will be over here. And so we will just move L over one and we will move R down one at the exact same time. If we get outside of this loop, we must be happy with our result. And so we'll return true. Let me just zoom out a second so you can see the code on one screen. Sorry, just a typo. I put a lowercase L right there. And that is our solution. So as we said, the time complexity of this algorithm is gonna be big O of N and the space complexity is going to be big O of one. Okay, we're not storing anything other than L, R and N here. All right, I hope that was helpful. Drop a like if it was and have a great day guys. Bye-bye.